It is a cloudy, nasty day. Not a good day to go out and look for bottles in the creek. The clouds do not help at all. But it is a good day to do some exploring. And I'm actually here at an old graveyard that is overgrown. And we're gonna take a look around and see what we can find. So in one of my last graveyard videos, I was talking about the headstones that look like tree stumps. And some a lot of people commented and they were letting me know that it was because it was part of the Woodman of the World. And here's a prime example of one of their gravestones. There's their gravestones, ooh, there's some thunder. It might get rained out. So this is says erected by the Woodman of the World. And basically, they were kind of like an insurance company from after I did a little bit of research, and they provided the gravestones and all of that kind of stuff. So it's kind of neat. But this is H.T. George. He was born in 1877 and died in 1902. So this one's been here for about 118 years. Now, I will say this. Parts of this graveyard are well overgrown, and the reason that I found this graveyard is actually a Facebook group that is going to come in here and clean it up. And they've already started. You can see that they've already started to clean this up right here. They are doing a wonderful job. I will say that. Sadly, a lot of this stuff is in rather bad shape and snap, like this gravestone right here. But that says Sarah F. She was born in 1845 and died in 1921. Here's another snapped headstone boy that thunder is moving in quick that one snapped right at the top but it looks like she died in the 1920s as well you can see it says she died as she lived a Christian let's take a look at these over here it's kind of neat to see people coming in and actually caring enough to clean these graveyards up like this one right here it's another snapped one right here now i'm taking y'all's word for it that this is virginia creeper if i get poison oak i'm blaming y'all just kidding let's see here if we can make out what it says it says wife her name was martha and she died in 1907 that one's been snapped for a good while. You can tell how dark the line is where it's cracked. Now, what's kind of interesting in this graveyard, too, is there's a couple of, I guess you would call them, vaults. And this is what I'm talking about right here. So, I don't know if it's what you would call a false vault, where the vault would be at the top. Oh wow, that's kind of interesting. So for those of you that don't know, my last name is Nicholas. James Vincent Nicholas, he died in 1887. Father of Albert, Roscoe, Thomas, Vincent, and Dora. Now my grandfather's name was Cecil, and I don't know if this is a relative of ours or not, but I definitely need to do some research on that. That's very interesting. But there again, this is kind of that above ground, maybe, I guess you would say faux vault. I don't know. It's definitely interesting. Well, it's definitely faux, I would say. You can see right into it. <laughs> I don't know the purpose of that, unless that was just a request. You can see there's another one over there. They left their trash bag here where they're still cleaning up, so that's still part of the process. Let's go look at this one over here. Looks like it's seen better days. They are doing a great job, though. Looks like they spent almost a full day out here cleaning up. Now, that's kind of interesting. That's got, like, a handle on it. Now, what that was for... I don't know why that's even there. I guess maybe the volunteers were using it. But yeah, this vault right here is actually caving in. And 
there's an old brick right there. Champion DFB Co. I wonder if that was like a company they work for or something. That's interesting with the finger pointing upward. But yeah, this fault right here is completely caved in. And here comes the rain. We're going to have to speed up our, our tour a little bit to keep from getting soaked. And these are super old right here. These are unmarked. A lot of times, these would represent slaves. And I don't know that that's the case because, uh, like I said, I haven't done the research on this graveyard, but it's definitely interesting. And like I said in the last video, here's your evergreen tree or your cedar tree to represent everlasting life. That one actually has a pretty creepy teddy bear laying there. Born in 1881, J.M. and E. Anderson. Died in 1900. Man, that rain came in fast, guys. Looks like a newer headstone the way that it's designed. There's another unmarked. See, that one's outlined with rocks and brick around it. Go over here and see how old these are. Can't even make that one out. See, and this is what's sad right here. You can see, well, I don't know if you can see on camera. That's recessed, 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 because that's graves that have sunk. You know, with time, the graves will settle, and when they do, they sink, and they haven't been refilled. Now, the bad part is, is at least here in the south, I know this, in my family's graveyard, where my grandmother and grandfather are buried at, people would go ahead and bury their, their loved ones, and they would save to buy the headstone later. And in this, for instance, it looks like they marked it with probably a brick, but they probably never saved up enough money to put an actual headstone there. So that's pretty sad, but these need to be refilled, which I'm sure they'll do because it looks like they're doing a fantastic job cleaning up here. And that's a newer one, died in 1949. So this graveyard is well on its way of coming back to life. And it just shows that there are still some people that care. I thought y'all may be interested to see this stuff, though, and just kind of show y'all around since I wasn't able to get in the creek today. And at the same time, I found something that I'm going to have to do some research on. That headstone with Nicholas on it makes me really think that that might be a relative of mine. There's a lot of Nichols, but not very many Nicholases. So I'll do a little bit of research on that, or if any of you do that are into genealogy let me know in the comments below in either case we'll see you guys in the next video